sitting here with Jack Draper at Helsinki Challenger. Jack, what's your first impression of Helsinki Challenger? Um, yeah, it's an unbelievably good event so far. Like the facilities are great, uh, organisation is great, and um, yeah, I'm enjoying my time here. Tell us about your year. You have the you have won the three uh, 25k tournaments and been climbing the rankings over 200 spots, I think, this yeah. year. Um, yeah, it was a, it was quite a rough start to the year. Last year in um, in December, I broke my finger on my playing hand, so I didn't play for about three months with that. And then I had a couple of other quite bad injuries with tendonitis and stuff. Um, but since since the summer, I've really kicked on. I've uh, I've um, had some good results uh, and got a lot of matches under my belt. So um, yeah, like this is my last time of the year. So if I finish strong. Indoor hardcourt versus outdoor hardcourt. What do you what do you prefer? Uh, outdoor hardcourt. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Even though you have uh, played a lot on indoors back home. Uh, yeah, I mean obviously I play indoors a lot back home, but I think when it's you know hot outdoors, you know my game suits that more than the uh, fast indoor hardcourt. You played a few challengers this year. What would you say are the biggest uh, differences compared to uh, futures? Um, just that every round is, you know, nails. Every round's really tough. Everyone can, you know, play some really good tennis. Um, physically, it's harder because you know you have to be in at every point. Whereas at the lower levels, you can maybe get away with a few more things. Um, and yeah, I'd say definitely in terms of concentration as well. Um, mentally, it's a lot more difficult to um, concentrate for longer. You feel a lot of pressure about uh, being from uh, Britain, and you, I mean, you had Andy Murray for quite some time, and there's uh, people hope to uh, have more players now. We have Kyle Edmund and Evans as well. How do you cope with that um, pressure? Yeah, I think you know maybe when I get older and I start doing, you know, if I do have a good career and start playing well, um, then I'm gonna have some pressure on me for sure. But I think a lot of that would be you know pressure that I put on myself, which you know isn't necessary. You know, I know what. My um, job is, and that's to you know play tennis. So all the background noise shouldn't should get in the way of that. What, what are the kind of things you're working on in your game uh, to handle the transition from the junior to playing pro events? Um, it's just I think it's just about you know committing to the right style of play. You know, I think men's game is going towards being attacking. Um, you know that. that all three, um, definitely on the, more emphasis on the serve and return. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just doing the the small things right, which is important. Tell us about your game, uh, Jack. What are your strengths? Um, I'd say I'm an aggressive baseliner. I like to look for my forehand. Um, my backhand can be a weapon. Um, definitely, my serve has a lot of um, pace on it. It's just getting it in more often, which is the challenge. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd just say I'm a guy who's got a lot of weapons and uh, when it comes together it will be, uh, be good to watch. Do you have any ranking goals for next year? Um, yeah, I mean, I think breaking to the top 150 would be, a, would be a, or 200 would be a good target, you know, but it's just tough because obviously at this level it's so difficult, so yeah, I just got to keep on pushing forward and we'll see where I go. At uh, what age did you believe that you could become a professional tennis player? Um, I was playing tennis and football and cricket and everything until I was about 11 or 12. I'd say I started to want to when I was about 13, so I um, started taking it more seriously and um, here I am. How much tennis did you play when you were 13 as you said? Uh, How many hours per, per week? Per week. I'd say I play like near an hour a day or something like that. Um, you know, not really serious, but you know, that's an hour a day, it's still quite a lot, so um, yeah, I play, I play quite a lot then. So. You said uh, cricket and football as well? Yeah, um, I played quite a lot of football, I was really into my football, um, and cricket, yeah, I have, I have a good backhand, so when I used to play cricket, you know, at that age, no one used to be able to catch, so I'd always get some good runs. Um, so yeah, I love both of those sports and still do. You played uh, Jonas Forecek here and you won here. Uh, yeah. Helsinki, he's uh, born the same year as you. Do you think you uh, possibly could have an epic rivalry? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, he's obviously an amazing player. I think he, I think he was number one in the world under 18 last week. And um, and yeah, he's obviously done extremely well. Won US US Open juniors. We've we've always you know had a good rivalry. I've played him many times, so yeah, I look forward to many more matches with him. And Sinner also, Yannick Sinner also born 2001. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 
him winning the next gen finals does yeah. that give you any mo motivation to I mean, yeah yeah exactly titles? it gives me, me a lot of motivation to to want to push you know hopefully he becomes my rival soon as well um, yeah he's an amazing player and um, you know he's playing some great tennis and it's you know it's amazing to watch but um, hopefully I'll be with him soon thank you for your time Jack thank no you. Worries, thank you